Hi there guys. A few months ago I was at a gun show and I purchased a bag of old ammo and you always know the ammo is going to be good when it comes in a Ziploc bag and it had this marking on it 8x50R or 8x52R. Anyway, I'm always on the lookout for old, odd, weird ammo so I bought this stuff. Um, it looked a little suspicious right off the get-go but I bought it anyway. I uh, took it home and measured it and turns out it is 8x50R, which by the way I have no particular use for at the moment. However, uh, the ammunition had soft point bullets loaded into it and quite clearly by looking at the head stamps this uh, should be military stuff. Anyway, I decided I would pull it apart to see what was inside it. And uh, well anyway, let me show you what I found. Now, I've got all the powder from the rounds dumped into this container here, and we'll pour some out because it might show up a little bit better here. If we have it on a nice white background, we'll sprinkle it around and see if we can get a, a close-up and, and I can show you uh, sort of my concerns. And this is why you probably shouldn't shoot other people's reloads. So hopefully this will show up when we get zoomed in good and close if the camera will focus. Come on now, focus. There we go. Now if you look at the uh, the powder that you can see laid out here, you'll notice that there is uh, extruded stick powder, kind of like IMR powder. There is also some cut sheet flake type powder, the kind of stuff that the uh, Germans and Austrians, some other European places, loaded into uh, cartridges. And there's also some spherical powder mixed in here. So these cartridges were loaded um, with a mixture of three different types of powder, at least three different types of powder. Uh, God knows what kind of powder they were. And this was not me opening up all the cartridges and dumping them together and mixing them up. The, mixed, the mixture was present in the uh, individual cartridges. So you'd, you'd open a cartridge up, you'd pour the powder out, and it would have these three different kinds of powder all mixed together. And they may be rifle powder, or they may not be. I have no idea what they are. So obviously not something you would want to fire. In addition to that, the charge weights in these cartridges varied between, I think the lightest one was around 20 grains, and the heaviest one had about 45 grains of this mixed up powder in them. So God knows who or why or what or how this was done, but Apparently somebody wanted some hunting loads, so they took some military stuff, pulled it apart, stogged in a, uh, I think it was a 170 grain boat tail soft point on top of this randomly mixed together, random charge weight, etc, etc. So I'm quite glad that I pulled this stuff apart. Um, I'd, I'd hate to even have it sitting around in case somebody else got their hands onto it at some point in time and tried to fire it. So I'm, I'm kind of pleased that it's pulled apart now and uh, I can dispose of the powder properly. And if nothing else, well, we've got the primed cartridge cases, although I'm not so sure how good those primers would be anymore. But anyway, I probably paid more for this ammo than, uh, than I should have, but sometimes uh, you have to pay for lessons in life. And uh, this wasn't a terribly expensive one. And I'll just show you the head stamps that were mixed in with these. We have, uh, I think that's a stylized A, H, a stylized H and A superimposed over over each other at the top there. And this one's, so let's say 36, 39, 40. Most of them were marked 1940. A little different head stamp there, ML, I think that is uh, superimposed over each other, 1941. And then that ML again, 44. So those of you who are cartridge collectors might be able to tell me more than I know about these. But uh, anyway, I have no particular use for them at the moment. But I'll put them away in the uh, hoard of crap for future use or just as collectible items. And uh, a little bit of a lesson as to why you shouldn't shoot other people's reloads because... You really don't have any way to know what's in them unless you pull them apart first. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and uh, we'll talk to you later.